Welcome to the Forestry Minute. Late winter and early spring is when you'll start to see damage to your trees and buildings from porcupines. Here's how you can tell it's porcupines and not squirrels, and what you can do about it. Squirrels prefer to feed on maples and leave teeth marks that are short and about one and a half millimeters wide. While porcupines will feed on a variety of trees and leave long teeth marks that are about four millimeters wide. You can protect your trees and structures from porcupines by excluding them with fences or by spraying a repellent around the base of your trees and buildings. Repellents are commercially available or you can make your own using hot sauce, ground peppers, or a mixture of herbs and spices that produce a very strong odor.